There, all done. What do you think? Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you, Al. I'll run. No, I'll fly off to show the others. You see, Junior, being in control of oneself and one's emotions is one of the qualities required to become a great warrior. I hold, I hold your, your chin, chin with no grin. Don't, don't fall into my trap. Oh. If you jiggle, you will giggle. Just hold still, or you will get slapped. Oh, pretty seashells and ears, Patricia. Fascinating. Superb specimens of Spicula humblongus nobilis. They'd be better in my collection. Honestly, Patricia, I don't know why you'd want to clip crustaceans to your ear. Technically, aren't they mollusks? <laughs> That's what I just said. Incorrect, Gilbert. You did say crustaceans. Shh. What? That's not possible. I confuse mollusks with crustaceans? Me? Oh, dear. Gilbert hardly ever gets it wrong, but when it does happen... It's a catastrophe. The last time he was sick for an entire week. Crustaceans! 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 <laughs> Hmm. You did laugh, Miguel. Oh, no. One more time, Mr. Maurice. It's going to have to wait, Miguel. The Jungle Bunch. To the rescue! Crustacean! Gilbert? Oh, yeah. Right. Good mission! Hello, my friends. What brings you to these parts? Hello, my friends. What brings you to these parts? Who wants to begin? Don't all talk at once. The elephants invaded our territory. We nearly get trampled on every day. That's true, but it's not our fault. We had to leave our former place because of the flood. It's the beavers' fault. Ooh. If they had maintained their dam, it wouldn't have burst. We can't do anything about it. We tried to maintain it, but the trees are gone. And at the end of the day, it's not our fault the trees are disappearing. Not your fault, beaver. I mean, you it's your I'm responsibility you to take like care of everything. Oh. So the problem is the trees are disappearing. Well, that's another mystery to solve for the jungle bunch. In the meantime, the beavers could fell some trees further away, and the elephants could help them bring the trees back to rebuild the dam, couldn't you? Oh, well, I guess that's a so. Idea. <laughs> Come on, my friends, let's go! <laughs> Well, Gilbert, you're so quiet. Any ideas? Uh, perhaps it's the dreaded red ants? Termites. Termites are probably behind it all. Uh, Come on, Gilbert. You are the brains here. You'll find exactly where those termites have gone, won't you? Uh, oh, look! Termite friends leave little paths behind them. <laughs> Bravo, Miguel. Let's move out, friends. The tree eaters have gone that way. Who dares to disturb my master, Vladimir the Grey? It's us, the Jungle Bunch. Do you have an appointment with his lordship? No need. Tell him it's Maurice. No appointment? Go on, shoot! No one disturbs Vladimir the Great like that. Well... Hold on, Maurice. I have an idea. Oh, too bad! We thought your master would have been flattered to have the Jungle Bunch and the Great Tiger Warrior come crawl at his feet, but oh well. I guess we'll be on our way. Hmm. Yep, we come to crawl in front of his lordship. Announce us, my good man. Follow me. Oh, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? My master cannot stand light. He only gets up when the sun sets. He'll be awake soon. What's he? Sleeps during the day, he'll wake at night. Uh, a cat! I believe it's an opossum. Ah, yes, uh, that's it. It's for the couscous baculatus, a.k.a. Nerku, a common possum. Uh, that was obvious. Hmm. 
Good evening to me. Mm, as handsome as ever. So, young ones, what brings you this evening to the great Vladimir's domain? Well, let's just say there's a slight problem with your termites. They've been devouring the surrounding area, and it's got to stop. Hmm. Termites are building Vladimir statues. They're working for his eternal glory. Behold their current work of art in progress. Isn't it splendid? A melon? Because Tinky Winker has big head? No, this is one of Vladimir's toes. This is only the beginning, but by the time it's finished, it will be grandiose. It will be Vladimir-esque. What? But the termites will have to destroy the forest to make a statue that size. Yeah, the problem is... There are other animals living in this forest. And them? Hmm. So, who cares? We're not going to let you do it, you tiny megalomaniac! <sighs> Grr! You fools! How dare you challenge Vladimir the Immense! Ha ha ha! You should know that I hold the termite queen at my mercy. Thanks to her, my powers are boundless. Surround them all! You don't scare us, Vladimir. Mr. Maurice, can we get up the Tiki Winker? I was about to suggest that. <laughs> Just dig! <laughs> Over there! Stop them! Block that exit! And that one! Push them back! We have to save the queen! Patricia, this way! That's it now, Vlad. If the termites don't see their queen, they won't obey you. Give up! Uh, infamy! The great Vladimir has fallen. In fact, hmm? if I had been in better shape, I would have told you that termites essentially communicate via chemical signals, pheromones! The queen could give her workers orders without them seeing her, so Vladimir should have asked them to break that rock up there at the top. So the large obsidian block that is stuck to it would have fallen right here. The impact would break the plates we're standing on, and we would all fall on through and ended up underground, which has to be volcanic given the presence of obsidian. Yes! Hmm? Make that rock fall. Good job, Gilbert. Thanks to you, we're going to be barbecued. Don't be a party pooper, Maurice. Now that I have my intellectual capacities back, nothing can stop us. Not even that? Cover this hole! Hmm. No need to panic. Come on. Hmm. It's easy. We need to attract Vladimir to the edge of the hole and use Junior's fishbowl and Patricia's earring to focus the light of the lava towards his eyes. That should destabilize him for a moment. Easy, easy. That's not so easy. <laughs> Mikhail, not hold on very long like this! <laughs> Great Tiger Warrior, we thought we had found an adversary on our level. This Vladimir is just as ridiculous as his trap! <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> <laughs> Get over here, build over there, blah, blah, blah. Who dares to make fun of the great Vladimir? Junior, it's time. Well done, son. You're free, Your Majesty. I think we better be going, Igor. His lordship isn't thinking of leaving now. There's something we'd like you to do. We're going to have to wait a few years for the forest to grow back the way it used to be. Oh, you know, we can wait. We found a way to repair our dam. In any case, thanks a lot. Mm. Okay, let's try it. Oh, look what I just found, Bob. Mm. What do you suppose it is? Oh, Al, I have absolutely no idea at all. It's a mystery. Maybe it could be a ma... A ma... A crustacean, Al. 
No, Gilbert, this is a mollusk. You know, like snails, whelks. Nonsense. The shell you're holding only lives in salty water. Yet, this pond is filled with spring water. The only reason you found it here is necessarily because the shell is occupied by another animal. A crustacean! <laughs> like a hermit crab. <laughs> These horrible bloodsuckers make it impossible to take a nap! Bad mosquito! You sting Miguel! Miguel, dump you! This storm from the south has brought all these mosquitoes here! They're so voracious! What will we do? The situation requires extreme specialists! And there they are! Dipterran hunters! No insect too small. going to sting me. You say my skin, Bob. <coughs> Bob? <coughs> Everything okay? It went down <coughs> the wrong way. There. It's gone. I'm good now. Anyway, thanks for getting rid of those mosquitoes, you guys. Those things bug me. It, it was, was our, our pleasure. pleasure. The Jungle Bunch! To the rescue! Good mission! who comes and asks for your help? No, but, um... You could have at least said hello. Hello. Fine. So what brings you to these parts? The thing must... Be destroyed. Yeah, I know. I pretty much got that part. Can you be more specific? My name is Marla, and I'm a botanist. I study and cultivate my plants in the black mud swamps, you see. But over there, mosquitoes are a terrible curse. We have Alan Bob to deal with that. And you? What do you do? To protect myself from their stings, I have created the thing, a carnivorous plant to get rid of the mosquitoes. But it grew and grew, and now it's out of control. Oh, so it's a plant. Uh, you want us to weed your garden for you, but you don't know how to ask, is that it? It's much more complicated than that, Great Tiger Warrior. The thing was created from the cuttings of my rarest carnivorous plants. I crossed it with the most voracious species and fed it my best fertilizers, and it's turned into a monster! What are you talking about, interbreeding a species? Psst, nonsense. There's no way! You don't believe me, huh? You think I'm crazy, huh? There! Here's some evidence of my expertise with plants. What's that? Hairy banana? This is a banuka nut. Half banana, half coconut. Marla, great scientist! Do you believe me now? You are the only ones who can rid the jungle of the monster I created! If you accept this, I will give you yummy buttermelons. Half bananas, Ooh. half watermelons. <laughs> can we go, Mr. Maurice? Can we? Okay, Miguel, we'll go. Very well, Marla. We'll dig up your plant for you. Follow me! To the very heart of the black mud swamp. But first, we'll make a stop at the lagoon to get some salt. If we want to get rid of an invasive plant, nothing works better than salt on roots. The water is so salty here that no creature can survive for very long. Look at me! Miguel wore a funny hat! Yo! Excellent, Miguel. Okay, we have enough salt. Let's go, my friends. Well, this is quite a hike. Whoa! What's that thing? Ignis fartuus, more commonly known as Will-o'-the-Wisp, a phenomenon caused by the decomposition of vegetal matter, releasing gases that are flammable when contacted with air. I'm not one to criticize, Marla, dear, but if it was me, I would add a touch of color to your swamp. This is the entrance to my garden. The thing is at the end of the tunnel. Banoconut trees! Banoconuts! 
In there, bananas. So that's the thing. <laughs> it looks like oversized pomegranates. Okay, let's get to work. The sooner we spread the salt over its roots, the sooner the plant will dry up, and the sooner we can leave those disgusting swamps, which are probably full of nasty germs. Huh? What a shame to have to get rid of it. It would bring a touch of color. You see, there was no need to. Uh, where'd she go? Huh, no goodbye? Some botanists are quite rude. This hybrid plant is really fascinating. Fortunately, it can't move. <laughs> Hey, these pomegranates look upset. Ow! Gilbert! Hold on! I'm coming! <laughs> you have nothing to fear, Gilbert. I'm here. Oops. Oh, hi, Marla. What are you doing here? Banzai! <laughs> Let us attack little tiger! <laughs> Miguel of lettuce, but lettuce not even hurt! Lettuce going to eat us all! I refuse to let it end like this! <laughs> Care for a pinch of salt, my friend? <laughs> Was easy. Mr. Maurice. Miguel, run and find a way to defeat this monstrosity quick. Miguel and little tiger prisoners. Quick, come up with plan. I know, burn bad lettuce. Mm. Oh yeah, friends being held prisoner in bad lettuce. Hmm. Maybe burn bad lettuce? Mm. Can't do that. Friends being held prisoner in bad lettuce. Mm. Mm. <gasps> That's it, Miguel got it. Burn bad lettuce. This good. Instead, burn bad lettuce. In any case, congratulations, Marla. Your plant is quite efficient against mosquitoes. Yes, it's quite voracious. Alas, when there are no mosquitoes left, we will end up as its dinner. No, no, no. That is unacceptable. A tiger ending up being eaten by a pomegranate is far too embarrassing. Oh, Gilbert, if this really is the end, at least I'm happy we're together. Sorry to disappoint you, Patricia, but we'll be someone's dinner another time. This situation requires specialists and just as well. Here are the Weed Hunters! <laughs> Little Tiger, stay friends! Well done, son. <laughs> Junior! That the way. Prepare to duck. <laughs> Miguel always right. Burn bad lettuce. 
great tiger warrior. You and your companions have just saved the jungle from a terrible threat. I am forever in your debt. It was my madness to manipulate nature as I did. Marla not mad. Marla great scientist. Marla invents Bonocana. Thank you, Miguel. Follow me. Let's harvest watermelons. Yum, yum. Yeah. The wind pushed them up here. They're back. And they brought reinforcements. If Al and Bob don't appear in the next few seconds, we're going to be lunch for those horrible mosquitoes. Dinner is served! So hungry. Miguel, you all right? We've been calling you for an hour. Miguel had scary nightmare that was scary. Miguel, we didn't hold breakfast for you. Junior was quite hungry. Here you go. No one touched your share. Another smelly mash. He's right. We've been eating this stuff morning, noon, and night. Don't take this wrong, but this stuff could gag a maggot. Gilbert. Uh I'm sorry, Patricia. Excuse me, this is the Warrior Tiger's cleansing program. It's made of bamboo fibers, mushrooms, ant sweat, and fly spit. This will clean us from the inside out. Mr. Maurice, can Miguel add bananas to Smelly Mash? Miguel no eat bananas for so long. Miguel miss bananas. No way, Miguel. We've discussed it. No banana in the potion. That would totally ruin its energy balance. Okay, who wants second? Huh? Oh, that's too bad for you foodies. But duty calls the jungle bunch to the rescue. rescue. Good mission. The jungle bunch at your service so my friend tell me what brings you here well we live very close to here down along the riverbank what well that means we're neighbors we can meet up for snacks and gossip hmm? um don't mind me go on at night a terrifying monster comes and destroys our hut it's awful a monster really did you get a good look at him no. Actually, we've never dared venture out during his attacks. He pounds on the walls like a madman, making noises. Then he goes away, leaving our house in tatters. And with the little one on the way, I'm afraid the monster will attack him. I don't know what's going to happen to us. That is horrible. You must be terrified. If I were you, I would never go out again. A monster could gobble up a child in a matter of minutes. <gasps> uh, maybe it's just a monster who hates beaver's houses. That's all. But all we want is a safe place to live. Open. Don't worry. We are going to help you out. No one attacks honest beavers and gets away with it on the Jungle Bunches watch. Come on, my friends, let's go. Uh, Gilbert, can you believe a monster lives so close to us? Look, monsters don't exist! Wild grizzlies, yes! Deadly piranhas, sure! Vicious hyenas, yeah, a few! But monsters, honestly! That's just disgusting! Hmm? I bathe in this river every day! Oh, Junior's water is sparkling clean. I change it every day. All right, son, let's see Dragon Stream one more time. 
Very good, son. You've almost got it. Once you master this technique, you can nail anyone on the spot. Oh, wow, you're incredibly good. Uh, I hope that'll be enough to protect us from the monster. No need to worry, beavers. We are the Jungle Bunch. Well, here we are. This is our home. Well, that was quite a hike. Uh, we're going to set up camp behind these rocks. Carry on living as you have, and when the monster returns tonight, we'll be ready for it. Okay. Mm. Miguel very hungry. Miguel wants to eat the banana. No, no, Miguel. Now's not the time to stop the warrior tiger's diet. We've got to cook up enough cleansing mash to feed at least ten people. Oh, that's a pity. It lacks a bit in fly spit. The texture is there, but it's not as tasty as it should be. All right, let's take turns keeping watch until the morning. I'll start. Gilbert? 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 Gilbert, I heard something strange. Oh, Gilbert, it's dark. Yes, this is what happens at nighttime, but think about it. When you close your eyes, it also gets dark, right? I never thought of it like that before. Whoa, I'll never go to sleep as long as I live. Great, so just keep your eyes open, and if you see a monster, just let me know. Mr. Maurice, ask Miguel. No move and no sleeping. So Miguel, no move and no sleeping. No move. Miguel, no move. Huh? Don't move. I'll get some new fireflies with Junior. Back in a flash. Miguel, no move and no sleeping. Same as me, Junior? Now's the time to test our peripheral vision system. A dark shadow is headed toward the beaver's hut? Quick, let's not waste any time. Huh? Miguel, see nothing, Mr. Morris. It really looks like I'm jinxed. I guess I'll just have to rebuild my hut every morning for the rest of my life. No, you're not unlucky. You're just the victims of a horribly hairy monster, probably with a very large jaw, who has decided to destroy your home. Nothing to worry about. What sort of monster could be so angry at such friendly beavers? Hmm. Actually, we know what he's going to do tomorrow night. That gives us an advantage. Okay, but what do we do? We shall rebuild your hut exactly the way it was. But this is the last time, I promise. <laughs> Tiger Warrior to Jungle Bunch Dark Ops. You copy? Copy, Tiger, copy, Tiger Warrior. Warrior. Good. We'll proceed according to the plan. Uh, one more thing. There's still plenty of mash left over. Feel free to stop by and help yourselves. <laughs> Jungle Bunch Dark Ops, we have movement. I repeat. Monster approaching. Gotcha! Miguel, that's your cue! Miguel! Where is he? Miguel, is that you? Uh, Miguel's in the trap! Miguel, would you get out of there? The monster will be here any minute. Come on, Miguel! Something's not quite right. Hmm, that's not like him. Here, let me help you! Wow! Quick! Miguel's in danger! He's going to get hurt in there! The monster will have to wait! Banzai! Miguel, enough already! What's wrong with you? <laughs> Junior, Dragon Stream! <laughs> you, Miguel. You look like a different gorilla. Uh, Miguel, horrible nightmare. 
Uh, one moment. If we gather all the evidence, we know that the monster has large feet, that he's of average height, and that he eats wood from the hut. And he probably doesn't sleep much at night. Mm. You hear that, Miguel? We're looking for your twin. Actually, I think we found our night monster. There he is. <gasps> Miguel, it's you? How can it be? Tell me, Junior, what did Miguel look like before you sprayed him? <laughs> yes, well, that certainly looks like sleepwalking to me. It can be triggered by many things. Uh, sorry, but Miguel want bananas. Lots and lots of bananas. <gasps> A lack of bananas, for instance. A week without bananas. Perhaps that pushed him over the edge. So it means he got back up every night while he was sleeping to go and get some bananas. But why come here? There aren't any. Hmm? Is this banana? Yes, this is my little personal touch. Mashed up bananas, good insulation. Mm -hmm. Makes the house waterproof. And attractive to a banana-deprived gorilla. That's right. You beavers shouldn't use bananas to insulate your home. At least until Miguel returns to regular sleep. Therefore, he will start eating bananas at once. Hmm? The Tiger Warrior cleansing diet is officially over. Hooray! Hooray! Yay! Wow! Ah, really are, James. Big banana. <laughs> Tiny banana! <laughs> hmm? I'm keeping the alarm system in place for another week. Can't be too careful! So, do you know what song animals sing at Christmas time? Well, it's Jungle Bells. <laughs> Funny, no? Instead of Jingle Bells? <laughs> 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 Hold on, have you heard this one? A baby hedgehog bumps into a cactus and says, Mommy, is that you? <laughs> oh, <Bob. laughs> you could at least crack a smile. Jokes are meant to be laughed at. Jokes are also meant to be funny. Well, what would a funny joke be for you? Hmm. <clears throat> uh no time for comedy, my friends. Duty calls us now, the Jungle Bunch. To the rescue! Good mission! Open. Uh, excuse me, are you the Jungle Bunch? Yes, we are. What brings you here, my friend? Well, I don't really know. I've lost my memory. I woke up in the middle of nowhere and couldn't remember who I was or where I was from. So I walked around until I heard about you. I thought you could help me. Oh, you poor sweetie pie. You don't even know who you are. Don't worry, honey. You're at the perfect place now. Your Auntie Bob is going to take good care of you. Uh, Patricia, he just lost his memory. He's not a baby. Look how confused he is. Hmm? We need to give him a name. What about Gerard? Huh, sweetie pie? Would Snookums like to be called Gerard? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ow, ow. You've got a bump on your head. That would explain your memory loss. I think so, but but I don't remember. Hmm, that's an Akalifa, a plant only found in the East Jungle three hours walk from here. That must be where you're from. My friends, let's go. Gerard needs his memory back. There we are. The largest concentration of Akalipas in the jungle is found here. Phew, that was quite a hike. All right, Gerard, does this place look familiar? No, not really. Huh? I think that... Something. I, I I don't know what it was. I, I just remember I was scared, but that's it. Calm down, my pumpkin. Everything's going to be all right. You see, what is happening is that you're getting your memory back. Does the smell of this little flower remind you of anything? Mm -mm. What about this little rocky poo? Mm. These blades of grass, perhaps? You're going to list every item in the jungle? I think there's only one thing we can do. A kiss? Close. A bop of the noggin. Great idea. He lost his memory from a bump on the head. Another one should bring it back. <laughs> we got some big mousey. <laughs> Not too hard, though. Mm -hmm. Gerard is fragile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Sorry. How did I do that? <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh, oh, nice reflexes. You agree, son? 
In your previous life, you must have had serious fight training. Oh my. That rock face sounds funny, don't you think? That's no rock. It's painted on. Like a big movie set. Whoever put that up must have something to hide. I say we climb that phony wall and see what's on the other side. Could be tricky. Let me see. If we use those branches to make a grappling hook, and using those bamboo canes over there, we can make a catapult, then we can shoot the um, grapple Gilbert? hook. Gilbert? Hang on, Patricia. I'm not done. So, we shoot the grapple over the wall, and then we make a rope ladder to... Or I could also fly up there with a rope and throw it back down at you. Yeah, or that. For everyone's safety here, let me remind you it's forbidden to get close to the wall, keeping us away from the world of fire. Yes, yes Great Master Bill! Thank you, Great Master Bill! <sighs> Master Bill! Over there! <sighs> oh, it's an invasion! They're attacking us! Monsters from the world of fire! Look, Gerard, I think we found your friends. Who knows? Maybe they've never seen a tiger before. With that wall over there and the mountains over there, they must not get many visitors. Is that Jason? No, no, my name's Maurice. He's Junior, Miguel, Gilbert, and Patricia. No, Maurice, I think Gerard is called Jason. <laughs> Gerard, Jason, half of one, six dozen of the other. Recognize him? I know his name. You were banished from our world. Guards! We'll banish you again and all those monsters! I don't think so! Dumpy, dumpy, no, my friends, we will not resist. If we let Bill think he's beat us, it'll help explain what happened to Jason when he was here. <laughs> Mr. Maurice, Miguel break prison walls now? No, not yet, Miguel. Ooh. Be patient. The Akalifa you have around your arm. It's an armband, just like those three, so you're probably a part of the security team, which is why you're so well trained. In that case, why did Bill want to get rid of you? The monsters. I've captured them all. You see, thanks to me, you can live all safe and protected from the outside world of fire. Thank you, Great Master Bill! Lava rivers flow, and monsters just like them live behind those walls, ready to devour you. Be afraid, friends. Be very afraid, my friend. Don't you listen to him. The outside world is nothing like that. Look at me. I've been there and back and even found friends, not monsters. <laughs> smile, smile, so they can see how friendly we are. Hi. If you were ever going to smile, now's the time. <laughs> this is as much of a smile as my mouth can do. I'm going to tell them a joke. That'll do the trick. Hey, where do angles go in the sick? To the vectors! <laughs> I can't stop! <laughs> that's great, Gilbert. Don't stop now. Tell them the punchline. Mm. Well, uh, that's it. The punchline. Hmm? Don't let them try to fool you. Jason just came back for revenge! <gasps> Bring the eraser out! <laughs> Time so we can regain his memory. I know I've been here before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm? Yes, it's all coming back to me now. I found out about Bill's secret. The world of fire was nothing more than a figment of his imagination to keep us under his control. But he had to keep me silent at all costs, so he claimed I became a danger to the tribe. Let's erase the traitor! <laughs> There you go, excellent. You've got your memory back. Once again, mission accomplished for the Jungle Bun. Uh, uh Maurice? Erase it ready, Master Bill. Go on, erase those monsters. <gasps> Time to get out of here, Miguel. Monsters! <laughs> 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 
While we keep them at bay, try to make the Apostles understand that Bill's nothing but a liar. Hmm. Okay, but there's only one way to show them what's behind the wall. Miguel, push the eraser towards the wall. <laughs> push, push, push. That's what I've been trying to explain to you all. The world of fire never existed. Bill has been lying to us ever since we were little so he could keep us under his control. All oh, right, I may have exaggerated a little. Well, we're not going to be your slaves anymore. We're off to discover the real world. <laughs> Come back. Don't leave me all alone. Thank you. Thanks to you, I know who I am and where I'm from. Goodbye, and above all, take care of yourself, Jason, dear. Mm. Poor guy. Now that he's got his memory back, he won't forget that. Orange, you're glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> <laughs> that one was for you, Miguel. Hey, by the way, Gilbert, you never finished telling us your joke. <laughs> you know, the angle and the vector. That was the punchline. It's vector, get it? Vector, doctor, it's funny! Oh, I see. So then, what happens next? Nothing! Hey, guys! So what do you call a sick crocodile? An illigator! <laughs> <laughs> illigator? Now that's a punchline! <laughs> Will you check out that waste? This web hasn't been harvested for weeks! Of all the nerve! The spiders don't leave as much mm -hmm. as it is, and then to leave the leftovers out to rot? Hmm. How about... Some moldy fly casserole. Stand guard. You bunch of thieves! I have caught you red-handed! Sorry, guys, I didn't think I'd be able to scare you. It's me, Patricia. It was a joke. <laughs> You're caught! <laughs> ah, you got us. I love your new look. Yes, I felt like trying something new and different. What are you guys up to? Look at that! It's a problem! The spiders have not been taking care of their webs for the past few days. It's not right. Mm, it's disturbing. Mm, someone's got to tell Maurice. I'll do it. Excuse me, Maurice. I've just spoken with Alan Bob about a very strange phenomenon. That... Sorry, Patricia. We'll have to talk about it later. Duty calls. The Jungle Bunch... To the rescue! Good mission! Open. Huh? Oh, some kids must have dropped their ball on our signal again. In that case, let's play. Stop right there. This is not a ball. It's an armadillo. They roll into a ball as protection from predators. Oh, what exactly do you call that look? Yeah, sorry for having confused you for a ball. No problem, Great Warrior Tiger. I'm used to it. Right. So, my friend, what brings you to the jungle? My name is Audrey. I'm an arachnologist and... arachnophile. Mm, Miguel not understand, but Miguel can dump little buggy if you want. No, Miguel. Our friend has just explained that she's an arachnologist, which means she studies spiders. Mm -hmm. She's an arachnophile. She loves them. That's why I'm here. Spiders started to suddenly disappear a few weeks ago. Entire clusters abandoning their webs from one day to the next. Well, that's hmm? exactly what I was coming to tell you, see, Gilbert. Audrey and I have something in common. Rather amusing, isn't it? <laughs> it's not amusing at all, Patricia. It's serious. Spiders are indispensable to the jungle's eco-balance. If they disappear, we'll be invaded by insects. 
Audrey, do you have any idea what happened? I have a theory. Last night, I was hiding behind a bush to observe a cluster of spiders I've been studying for several months, when suddenly a monstrous figure appeared as if out of nowhere. I am Arcturus, your master. You are the chosen ones. You must come with me to fulfill your one true destiny. Follow me. <laughs> <gasps> I discreetly follow them up to the entrance of a cave. But I didn't dare go any further on my own. These spiders need your help, Great Tiger Warrior. All right, don't you worry, Audrey. We're going to find the spiders and bring the jungle's eco-balance back. Take us to the cave. Don't you worry, Spider. We're going to find your little friends. <laughs> Uh, sorry. BB is sensitive. Come on, my friends! Let's go! Hmm. Strange. I've never seen this species before. The last time I studied this area, that forest wasn't there. Look at it! And that was only a few days ago. There were only a few carnivorous... <gasps> A few carnivorous what? Come on, tell us. It's not nice to stop right in the middle of a sentence. Come on, tell us. Whatever you do, make sure that you don't move. Huh? What's wrong? Don't you guys know what was here before those trees? <laughs> this will take a little athletic ability. Audrey, Miguel, you play baseball. Junior and I are going to do a little bowling. Here we go. Banzai! Well done, son. Our turn. Baseball, Miguel. <laughs> I get it! Without spiders to eat insects, these carnivorous plants take advantage of it and grow excessively. Well then, we'll have to find the spiders. We have no choice. Audrey, are we far? No, it's not far at all. is eager to admire your masterpiece! <laughs> ah, Vladimir, the vainest animal in the jungle, has new slaves to fulfill his fantasies of grandeur. <laughs> hmm? oh. ah. Salvador? Silence, silly painter! Senor, I cannot paint with all of those bugs crawling everywhere! They're just too scary! <laughs> Arcturus doesn't care about your fears, Painter. The simple act of creating this portrait of Arcturus should make you get over your fears and fill you with happiness. <laughs> the spiders follow Vladimir blindly. It's like they think he's some kind of leader. That's it! If we can get him out of his costume, we'll reveal he's a fraud and the spiders will come to their senses. And they'll be free at last. <laughs> Take your positions, my friends. Vladimir, it's over. We're here to save these spiders and Salvador from your clutches. Ah, the juggler bunch. Nice. <laughs> yes, please save me from this place. Hmm. Maurice, the great tiger warrior. We meet once again. But this time, you won't be able to stop me. Seize those intruders, my children. Oh. 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 Oh.
<laughs> My victory is complete! A great win! In fact, this is Vladimir Esk! <laughs> so, great Tiger Warrior, do you admit defeat to the great Vladimir? <laughs> uh, Vladimir, are you sure you've caught all of us? Let me see. Uh, Maurice, Junior, Gilbert, Patricia, and... Oh, no! Where is that Don Gorilla? Right here! Mm -hmm. Dancy, dancy, dancy! You're free, my friends. Octaurus was an imposter. The Jungle Bunch are your friends. You can let them go. Ah, thank you, spiders. Much better. Ah, curse you, Jungle Bunch! The great Vladimir has more than one trick up his sleeve! You'll never stop me! <laughs> Audrey, fancy playing ball? With pleasure, Maurice. Nice headbutt. Now that you have gotten rid of that dreadful creature, if I were you, I'd quickly go back and gobble up all those insects that are beginning to invade the jungle. Yes, 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 that's it, spiders. Yes, yes, go, go, far from here. Ooh. Ah, thank you, Jungle Bunch, for liberating me. This obnoxious small person almost made me never want to paint again. What? Mm -hmm. Me small? Not the great Vladimir. I will return. Do you hear? Ah, thank you, Beanie. He was annoying me. I've got to say, Pop, that was an excellent idea. There's nothing like a sweet rotten fly fresh from the web. Hmm? Ah! 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 Oh, hello! <laughs> Were all those insects yours? Uh, we're sorry. We didn't know. <laughs> it's no big deal, eh? It is. And there, that makes 258. We're even now, correct? What? Really? 358? Mm -hmm. 259... 260... You see, son, the tiger warrior must study all the animals of the jungle in every detail, starting with their daily diet. For example, the ants eat leaves, seeds, moss, and... <laughs> Nonsense! Ants don't eat moss. They're allergic to it. I know all the food allergies. Crocs, for example, cannot eat mangoes. It gives them ulcers. Hippos, on the other hand, are quite different. Carnivorous plants don't eat amber. I saw it first. Mm. No, it's me. Oh, no. Here we go again. Another fight. Mm. What? Excuse me, you were sitting on it, but I was the one to see it first. And anyway, five seconds ago, you didn't even know about the existence of mosquitoes trapped as fossils in resins for, like, millions of years. Not true. That's something mm. I've known for millions of years. Either way, you can say what you want. You never find stuff. It's always me. I'm considered a discoverer. You're mm -hmm. a follower. Huh? This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. You can keep your fossil. I will not stay here a second longer. I'm leaving for good. <laughs> Don't worry, I know him. He's just sulking. Within two minutes, he is gonna be right back here. He went too far. He always puts me down. I will never go back to the pond! A blue fly, I hate them. Boy, just not my day. Understand. Now it's been two hours since he left. That's not like him. I've looked all around the pond. No trace of Bob. Oh, no, Bob. It's my fault. Maurice, we must do something. Don't worry, Al. We'll find him. Come on, guys. You have our gratitude, noble stranger. Historically, koalas are attacked by mosquito swarms, and you have freedom. Yeah! You're our savior. Yeah! 
He's so strong. Yes, but he's so ugly. Yeah. Hmm. Do not take offense. In our tribe, there is a code. Lying does not exist at all. We always tell the truth. Oh, wow. Really? Yes, it's true, Savior. You're ugly. Hmm. But it does not matter because what you have done today is simply awesome. Oh, well, it's nothing. Mosquitoes have no chance. They can't bite me. I'm too fast. Oh, oh. incredible. What a powerful gift. What is your name, noble stranger? Bob. But my friends call me Bob. From now on to us, you are Bob. Bob the Invincible! Whoa. You can ask for anything you want. <laughs> Bob! 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 Bob. Oh, no, it can't be true. Where can he be? I can't believe it. You have the mosquito responsible for Bob's departure. I've thought it over. If we find him, I will give him this as a special peace offering. Mm -hmm. Oh! Flies! I do not know why, but I feel that I will like it a lot in this place. Hello, Bob the Invincible! Ugh, your feet smell awful today, Grand Chief. <laughs> Holy mackerel, that stinks! Thanks for pointing it out to me. I'll go wash my feet right away! But you're not upset that he said that to you? No, why would I be upset? It's the truth. Well, where was I? Ah, yes, I came to see if everything was okay. Uh, the truth is, this couch is a little hot. The rear end of our savior is sore. Quickly, koalas, we must do something about it. Mm. Oh, this is paradise. Mm. Here, a blue fly in saliva. He's definitely been through here. He hates these. Look over here. There are footprints. Hi, friends. Hmm? Huh? Bob? You may find this hard to believe, but I'm the savior of the koalas. You should have seen how I got rid of the mosquitoes that attacked them. It took three licks, and they're gone. Oh, what's the big deal? Any decent toad can do that. Well, that's it. You're here 30 seconds and you belittle me. One thing's for sure, I would never go back to the pond. This is my new home now. Get it? Porter's my carriage. Good job. Bravo, Al. You're arguing again. If you don't want Bob to come back, just keep it up. Gilbert's right, and you'll have to apologize, too. No. Ow. All right, Al, it's time. A sincere mm -hmm. apology. Well, uh, I wanted to say that I regret we fought before. But if you forgive me, then I'll give you the mosquito fossil. It's okay, you can keep it. I have everything I need here. Besides, I forgive you anyway. I don't need that silly fossil. Ah, the show is about to begin. Here is the legend of Bob the Invincible, the toad who saved our tribe from the dreaded mosquito curse. <laughs> I am Bob the Invincible. <laughs> wow, looks just like me. <laughs> Miguel would also like to beat nasty mosquitoes. Shh, Miguel, <laughs> just watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> I am Bob the Invincible. I jump and spin, mosquitoes can't bite me, I always win. It's too much. Too much. Hmm? Oh, lousy mosquito. He bit me. <gasps> he has been stung by a mosquito. <gasps> well, it's okay. I didn't see that one coming. Are you kidding me? I'm not sure you just have to say here. I think our koala friends are upset. No, this is just intermission. They want to change costumes. Do you think we should go and check it out? Mm-hmm. Bob the Invincible is an imposter. Mosquitoes can bite him. He is a liar. Ooh. He should end up in the stomach of the devourer of lies. Yeah! <laughs> it's horrible, Bob. We must leave right now. They want to serve you up to a monster. That's nonsense. You just want to take my place. Well, maybe we should just leave right now. In fact, you're all jealous, right? You cannot stand that I'm a savior. Well there, Bob, you give us no choice. Miguel, grab him. What? Wait, no, 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 no! 
Help me! Need help now! Help! You will not touch a hair on Bob's head! <laughs> <laughs> What happened? Where are we? We are put to sleep. They're taking Bob to the Devourer of Lies. Mr. Maurice, Miguel can dump the Coca-Colas? Sure, Miguel, but first I must release us. <laughs> huh? Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy! So, what's going on? Is this more of the show? Oh, la la, I can't wait until this will be super. Oh, great devourer of lies! We bring you a terrible liar! Do your best work and devour Bob the liar! Huh? No, wait, I didn't lie! This mosquito played a trick on me! Huh? What is that thing? It's a Grossera Gigantis Carnivorous! An enormous carnivorous plant! Uh, what is that thing? <laughs> no, I will never let a carnivorous plant eat my Bob. Attack! Nothing will stop the devourer of lies from accomplishing its work. Neutralize them! Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never let him eat you, Bob! <laughs> Ow! The resin! Carnivorous plants are allergic to the resin! Ow! Oh, catch it, Bob! It seems that your medallion gives her bad indigestion. Thanks, oh, my savior. If the devourer of lies did not eat Bob, he's no liar. That's exactly what I was trying to tell you. On behalf of the tribe, I owe you an apology. Tell us what would please you. Well, that would be to return home with my friends, but call me if the mosquitoes come back. Bye. Farewell. Thank you, Al. Let's never argue again. Just hold me, Bob. Miguel loves seeing Tony friends together. Ah, uh, it's good to be back home again. Oh, I have a surprise for you, Al. It's yours, right? Oh, thank you. It does look better on me than you. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Don't forget, I was the savior of an entire tribe. <laughs> Some savior? You ate a few mosquitoes. Big deal. Really? I would have liked to see you with your tadpole tongue. Here we go again. Oh, cutting your hair is always such a joy, Fred. Your hair is as soft as plump flies larva. And as shiny as slug slime by the light of the moon. Thanks, but I don't deserve praise. I've inherited good hair days. My family's baldies, there isn't one. Just soft hair, that's second to none. <laughs> nice hairdo, piggy friend. Hey, Miguel. Ooh. Are you ready for your test? <laughs> one, two, three, go! <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Miguel. 100%. Record equal. Mr. Maurice, Miguel can beat record. Eh, Mr. Maurice? Hmm. <laughs> Ready, Miguel? <laughs> One, two, three, go! <laughs> Anything wrong, boys? You each made an odd noise. Uh, no, not at all, Fred. Everything's fine. <laughs> Nothing like a nice short haircut for the springtime like we discussed, huh? <laughs> Without my legendary hair, my life is in deepest despair. No more gigs for me this year. In fact, this is the end of my career. Piggy friend said. <laughs> Miguel said too. 
sorry, Fred. We'll deal with your hair issues later. The Jungle Bunch! <laughs> to the rescue! Good mission! <laughs> Open. Hello. Welcome, my friends. What brings you to these parts? Our little Jean-Pierre fell into the water. It's his father's fault. He didn't secure him in our nest. Fell in the water? He could drown. He's just a tiny, adorable little egg. But he could hatch any day now. And his father can't even swim. And that's it? Grab an egg out of the water? Well, that's no problem at all. Come on, guys, let's go. Uh, where is it, by the way? We don't live far, in the deadly swamp of terror. Oh, you mean the swamp of terror? No, no, it's the deadly swamp of terror. Anyway, could I just point out that this swamp is well known for being infested with crocodiles? They could have been more careful with their eggs. Do I lose my things? Do I? Who builds a nest above crocodiles anyway? Fine, I think I made my point. My darling Geraldine and I, we both have vision problems. When we got to the swamp, we thought it was odd there weren't any birds around, but then we thought it was great to be left in peace to live our beautiful love story. How romantic, isn't it, Gilbert? Far more dangerous. We wondered why those tree trunks in the water seemed to be moving all by themselves. He's going to hatch at any moment. If we don't get our little Jean-Pierre right now... <laughs> You're our only hope. These horrible crocs have no idea he's there, but if they find the egg at the bottom of the water... Oh, then... don't you worry. We've been hoping for some action recently, right, son? Honestly, I was afraid this mission was going to be a bit boring, but if crocs are in the picture, haha! <laughs> get ready for some action, Junior. Come on, my friends, no time to lose. But Miguel can't leave Piggy Friend all alone here with naked head. Don't worry, Miguel. We'll find Fred some new hair along the way. And then there'll be plenty of crocs to thump. <gasps> Good idea, Mr. Maurice. Miguel find new hair for Piggy Friend. <laughs> dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. <laughs> There's our nest. Our little Jean-Pierre fell last night. He's due to be born sometime today. We've got to hurry. Mr. Maurice, Miguel found new hair for Piggy Friend. Yeah, nice color, but uh, too short. Rest assured, my son Junior is quite a good swimmer for a tiger. Son, go find Jean-Pierre and bring him here. In the meantime, we'll attract the crocs. They only think about one thing, eating. <laughs> hey, ugly crocs. Hey, guys, <laughs> look what we got here. Breakfast is served. Bunch of wimps, come back here. We're not done with you. Yes, Crocky friends, come back. Miguel thump less if you stay and play longer. You're lucky to be on the ground, but I dare you to come fight in the water, you cowards. The rematch will take place on our turn. Right, son? 
Okay, I understand now. The deadly swamp is for the crocs, and the Terra is for the piranhas. And now the crocs don't want to come out of the water. It's tougher than we thought. Great, what a cozy little nest we've got here. Hey, no need to panic. It's not that complicated. After all, we just need to protect Junior from the piranhas and neutralize those crocs. Exactly, Maurice. And for that, I've got an idea. Ready, Junior? Right, so you go get the egg while... Mr. Maurice, make up a new hair for piggy friend. Uh, <laughs> lovely highlights, but, uh, too wavy. With this protection, the piranhas won't be able to get to you. And we'll take care of the crocs, won't we, Miguel? Hey, you big fat lizard. Looks like I'm on your turf. Now's your chance to get back at us. So, who's gonna try and catch me? this time to count on the jungle bunch, but they won't always be around. Even though you're already so strong, my little Jean-Pierre. But mommy, why do you call me Jean-Pierre? I'm a little girl. Oh. 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 Come on, old chap. It's not so bad. In a few months' time, it will all have grown back. Take this as an opportunity to take a short break and write some new songs. Oh, uh, Fred, Miguel has something to tell you. Piggy friend, Miguel made new hair special for you. Huh? Man, this is truly divine. Everywhere I go, I will shine. My audience will stop and stare when they get a load of my blue hair. It's fantastic! But where did it come from? That? It's Miguel's secret. That's it. Extend your paw gently and stretch your neck up to the sky. Lift up your other paw and keep moving. Ah, Patricia! Oh, sorry, Gilbert. I didn't realize we were standing so close. Bob and I were just thinking, you two are close. I'm not the one who's close. She's always close. I need space. Otherwise, I get overly tense. We'll finish our relaxation session later, guys. Duty calls again. The Jungle Bunch. To, to the, the rescue! rescue. Good mission! Open. So, my friends, what brings you? Here. 
problem. Well, Big Tony is after us all. He's very angry, turning the jungle upside down. He's looking for someone we don't know who. Protect us, we beg you. Don't worry, you're in the safest place in the whole jungle. Who is this Big Tony? You know him? <clears throat> well, I have this wonderful cousin. We call him Big Michael to boost his spirits because he's actually quite tiny. It just couldn't be him, though. His name was Michael. Oh, thank you, Patricia. That was really helpful. They must be there they are! Tony and his gang! They're gonna crush us! <laughs> I think we have visitors. No need to panic. We'll have a chat with Big Tony. <laughs> Hello there, you must be Big Tony. Ah, and you brought along your friends too. What brings you boys here? We just come to get someone. We know he's hiding here. So let us take him and we'll be on our way, okay? And what exactly did that someone do? He or she stepped on our lads, ate our fruits, and that is forbidden by our laws. They must be crushed! They must be crushed! They must be crushed! They must be crushed! Their scent was left everywhere. We followed their tracks through the whole jungle to here. I can smell them. Hey, don't be rude, sir. No one here has an odor. Ooh! <laughs> Miguel, forget bad. You're the jungle punch, right? You're supposed to help us. We're the victims here. So what are you waiting for? If you don't give us a thief right away, we'll destroy your lair. First, you'll need to calm down. We're going to interrogate everybody in there, and then we'll let you know what we'll do. Okay, we'll wait for the sun to be on the other side of the volcano. Got it? Then game over. Crush everything! Crush everything! Crush! Let me get this straight. Whoever Big Tony wants to crush is among you. <laughs> Everyone listen. We just want the facts. All we need to know is who had lunch at Big Tony's. Huh? I'm sure she did it. Just hmm? look at her. Me? Well, that's nonsense. What about the hippo? Everyone knows you're jealous of the rhinos because they have horns. Excuse me. At least I don't climb in my shell like a coward every time there's a problem. Listen to me. It's got to be him. Everyone knows how greedy he is. She did it. What do you think I am? <laughs> <sighs> I need another solution. Excuse me. Watch out. Don't push it! Hey, I live here till you know. <laughs> this device here is a lie detector. We're gonna test it on Miguel, who is going to tell us right away one truth and one lie. Hmm? Actually, hmm? you have to tell the wooden box your name. <gasps> Miguel called Miguel. Thanks, Miguel. And now tell it a lie. Ooh, say Miguel doesn't like bananas. Oh, Miguel not like bananas. <laughs> you done? <clears throat> the sun will be gone soon. Time's up. One moment. We're almost done. That big Tony is a bit annoying, isn't he? I am innocent. I am not a thief. Hmm. I told you I didn't do it. Next! I told you, not me. Next! Nope, wasn't me. I'm innocent. Next! What? Of course it's not me. Ask him. Next! I'm innocent, too. Next! Mm, don't look at me. Next! I didn't do anything. I didn't steal from anyone. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> yes, I did it. I took them. I was looking for something to eat, and I didn't know the fruit belonged to the rhino. What do you mean? Everything belongs to the rhinos. That's the rule. What do you mean, everything? Tony and his gang moved my whole family away so they could take our fruit trees. Whenever they like a place, it becomes theirs. Incredible. I'd like to see that rhino act innocent again. But why didn't you call us? We'd help. Blueberry didn't do anything wrong. Big Tony is a bully. Junior, we have a score to settle with those rhinos. <laughs> Where's that D? I've given you more than enough time. Relax, my friend. We've heard all about your business and the hardship you inflict on the jungle animals. So stop intimidating them and we'll forget all about this. All right? <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing. It's a good sign. Since you refuse to help us, we're going to destroy your lair and crush all you's hiding inside. Crush us inside! Crush us inside! Crush us inside! Son, I think it's time to test out our new technique. The blindness surprise. Crush us inside! Crush us inside! Crush us inside! Crush us inside! 
So, have you learned your lesson? Oh, they're tough. Quick, let's go back inside for cover. Phew. Well, my friends, it won't be easy. Do not panic. This door is solid. <laughs> Very convincing, Patricia. Well done. <laughs> I don't want to die! This whole mess is her fault! Hand her over! I'll crush you all one by one, and I wouldn't count on a jungle bunch to stop me. I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> mm, looks like Tony's afraid of something. Interesting. Mm. All right, Big Tony. We surrender. <laughs> <laughs> So then you're the thief. Well, yes. <laughs> You'll be made an example of for anyone who messes with us. So is it true you're not afraid of anything? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> not even spiders, fire, a school of angry piranhas? No. Come on now. Give us the Jaboa or else we'll have to crush you all. It's very unusual to find someone who's afraid of nothing. We would like to ask you a few questions. What are you trying to do? Stall for time? Because my time's very precious. I don't want to spend the night here. Mm -hmm. We'll wait for the sun to be on the other side of the volcano. The sun will be gone soon. But the night is so beautiful. The stars, the moon. When it gets dark and you can't see a thing. Unless, of course, you don't like it. And that would explain why you're in such a hurry. You keep looking at the sky. You're afraid of the dark. Uh, uh, what? D d nonsense. Wait, what did he say, sir? He said nothing at all. Shh. I'm afraid of nothing, especially the dark. <laughs> Yet our lie detector seems to contradict you. And it seems to bother you to talk about that. Is it a secret? What is that? What's the secret? What's going on? You know, there's nothing wrong with being afraid of the dark. Why don't you discuss it with your friends? They won't judge you. Hey, shh. Stop. Keep quiet. What are they talking about, sir? Hang on, everyone. No need to make fun of him. When it gets dark, our friend Tony gets very, very... Enough! Go back to camp at once. There's nothing to do here. Ah, but sir. Do as I say. Huh? I'll manage alone. I just have one last thing to do, and that's to crush the thief. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Blasted machine, I'm gonna crush you! Uh, uh, oh, I love it when Patricia clings to me. Uh, when she whispers in my ears, I also love Big Season! <laughs> Your turn, son! Good job, Junior. You've met your match, Tony. We're stronger than you are. Leave the other animals alone, or you'll have to deal with us again. I'll come back to crush you. <laughs> I seriously doubt it. <laughs> That's it. It's dark now. It's so dark. <laughs> Mommy. You're free, my friends. You can go back home safely. <laughs> come on. Stretch those legs and breathe. That box isn't very convenient. I keep bumping into it. It serves a purpose, to keep us apart. You know I don't do it on purpose, Gilbert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>